for the second part of these word problems, questions four and five on the back, you guys are going to have to do a little bit of work with percents. And it's been a while since we did that. That was way back in the beginning of the year. But don't worry, we can still use them. So let's look at how this works. In order to dig the tunnel, we had to pick up some supplies at Gemmins. And being smart about money, Dina has coupon for 20% off the total purchase. After buying everything and applying the coupon, we paid $97.89. How much money did we save because of Dina? Now when I look at this, I see a few things. First off, what I'm seeing that we did is we had a set amount that we were supposed to pay. And let's call that X. This was our original total. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call that the original total right underneath. Like just label it so I know I'm talking about the original total here. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, when I had that original total, what did I do to it to get my official end total? And what I did to it is I took that 20% off. And we know that if we wanna take 20% of something, we do that 0.2 or 20% as a decimal, move that decimal over place, two places. We did that 0.2 times our X. So, what I did is I took my original total, I subtracted that 20% of the total, and I got a new final price. And our final price was 97.84. And by the way, you should always look for things that you know are totals, because totals tend to be on their own on one side of the equation. Well, now that I have this formula, I can solve for x. That's what we've been doing for a while. So I've got 1x, I'm just going to add a coefficient in front of it, minus that 0.2x is equal to that 97.84. I can combine my like terms that are on the left side, and that is 1 minus 0.2, which is going to give us 0.8x, and of course 97.84 on the other side. When I divide both sides by 0.8, I'm going to get an answer of x is equal to 122.30. And that is the dollar amount that we originally had for our total. However, notice what the question is asking. The question is not asking how much did we originally, how much were we originally supposed to pay. The question is asking, how much money did we save? Well, if we were supposed to pay 122, this will be my final step, if we were supposed to pay 122.3, and what we actually paid was 97.84, I can subtract 97.84 from 122.3, which will tell me how much money I didn't have to spend due to Dina's money-saving coupon. And that gives me a total of $24.46, which that's a pretty significant amount, and it's pretty nice to save using only just that little piece of paper. So my final answer is that 26.46. Be careful that it's not this 122.3. That will leave us with our final problem. So for our final percentage problem, we have Austin, Tyler, Alden, Megan, and Amber, our whole crew one, going out to lunch during a digging break. They've each ordered something different, but they've decided to share the food when they get back to Covenant. And they each paid the following amounts. They are going to need to add the 20% tip to the total bill, because, but because they shared the food, they're going to want to split the total of the meal evenly between them. So the first thing that we're going to want to know is what is the total amount, not individual, that they will spend on the meal, including the tip? Well, I know that if I want the total amount just from the, the get-go of what they spent, I can take each of the costs of the meals and add them together. So I'm going to take the sum of the costs of the meals. Once I have that and I've taken the sum of that and gotten my 32.70, right, $32.70, I have to still add some stuff to this because while that's what they spent on the meal itself, they also gave a 20% tip because they're pretty nice. And that means I'm going to have to add the tip to this. Now, don't forget 
that when you are adding a tip and it's extra cost, what you're going to do is you're going to take that 32.7, you're going to multiply it by that 20%. And remember, change it into that decimal first to get that 0.2. And that's going to give you what the tip is, right? It's that total thing times 0.2. But you want to add that to the total that you spent in general, which is 32.7, right? So you're taking the full meal cost and you're adding the tip. That will give us a total of $39.24 when you type that in. And that's how much they spent on the meal with the tip included. But they did want to split, split this pretty evenly. So they want to figure out how much each of them should pay individually were they to split this between the five of them. Well, since you are splitting an amount, it means that you are sharing it among five people or you are taking the average of it, of each of these sums. So you've added them all together, you've found out what they've spent, and you can divide it by five. Remember that division is another way of splitting something up. If you have like 40 divided by 2, you're saying I took 40 things and I split them between two people, which is where you get that 20 from, or 40 divided by 2 equals 20. So here when I do this division, I'm going to get an answer of 7.848, which of course we're going to round, and with money, they always round up. It doesn't actually matter what that last decimal is. In this case, that 8 does round it to a 5, um, the 4 to a 5, but um, even if this had been a 2, with money they always round up because, you know, people like to get a little bit extra money, so they, they do that rounding up. But this would be $7.85 per person for that meal, which really isn't bad at all. So that is the completion of those word problems. Please make sure that when you are doing your corrections, you show every step of your work that you work neatly and carefully, you box your final answers, and make sure it's on a separate sheet of paper from your original assignment. You do not need to redo problems that you had correct the first time through, unless, of course, I sent you a message saying you didn't show enough work. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you have any questions.